Hi everybody, welcome to another fun filled episode of Binjotronics How To. Well, actually, this is my first installment. Um, today, I'm going to try and uh, teach everybody how I managed to hook up a 74HC595 uh, ship bit register with a uh, seven segment display. As you can see, I, um, what I have here is a little potentiometer and as I turn the potentiometer we get a little digital readout which is a mapped value to uh, voltage input. So um, if anybody out there is familiar with the read analog voltage uh, tutorial that comes standard with the IDE software. This is an adaptation of that. Uh, what I've developed is a really great method of uh, mapping your 74HC595 uh, ship bit register with the uh, seven segment display and I'd like to show you how I did it. So first of all you can see over here we've got our little ship bit register, we've got a bank of resistors here and we've got a, uh, a, a seven segment display. So down in the links below you can see that we've got two programs that I've uploaded. These are just some simple um, little simple little bit of code that I put together. Uh, if you don't like my code then please tell me what I've done wrong because I'm quite new to uh, the Arduino uh, C programming language but um, anyway we'll uh, We'll, we'll get through it. So uh, first of all you can see the shift out display. Um, you can download that and upload that to your board and what we what we will do with that, what this code does is it uh, it, it, it sends a, a high signal uh, to your shift bit register. So up on your screen now you should see the schematic layout that we have. And this is uh, the little program that I have running at the moment if you look at your shift bit register, you'll notice that uh, you've got a Q0 over on the right there, and then you've got Q1 to 7 on the left there. These are your output pins. Now, the trouble with uh, hooking it up to a 7 segment display is you're not really sure where they're going. Well, you don't actually have to hook it up exactly as I've set here. You can randomly hook it up just depending on how you have your... Uh, your circuit, uh, your setup, it might be easier to, you know, hook up something uh, in, in a different configuration. So long as you're using Q0, Q1, 2, through to 7, uh, obviously the outputs you don't want to hook into anything else. So, um, yeah, let's have a look at this. Now, a couple of things you might want to note is, first of all, our 7 segment display on the left here. This is a, a common anode. Okay, now you can, it's called a common anode because the common uh, pin is the, uh, the high signal, the, the 5 volt input there in the center. Um, and in order to make a circuit between each of the LEDs on the on the uh, seven segment display, you have to send a low signal to one of the uh, eight pins around the edge there, um, and that will obviously uh, put a ground signal to the five volts, and therefore completing the circuit to that particular LED on the seven segment display. Okay, a uh, good thing to note is the uh, resistors, the bank of resistors that I have here. Okay, very important. I blew up my first shift bit register. Not a good idea. Uh, make sure you have uh, some, some resistors in there. I, I just chucked some 10Ks in there because I had them lying around. So, yeah, let's uh, let's move on, shall we? Okay, so now that we've uploaded that code to the uh, to the board, uh, what what is the first thing that we notice? So I'm going to hit the reset button and show you what we see. First of all, you can see that this light here has extinguished. Then the second one up here is extinguished. Everything else is illuminated. Now this one's extinguished, and so on. What that will do is um, my code will actually uh, run through each pin on the uh, the shift bit register, sending a um, a, a low signal. Uh, sorry, a high signal to um, each of the um, the pins in turn. That way, what uh, what you can see is that way you can map one of the pins on the shift bit register to the actual uh, seven segment display. This is a really helpful tool if you're working with uh, shift bit registers, simply because it is a little bit difficult to sort of map out where uh, the where the inputs are going, and binary can get quite confusing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you a really, really simple method of actually mapping uh, those pins to the shape of uh, a number. Like here we have on the board, on my little whiteboard here, if I was to make a zero, I would illuminate all of these and leave this, the second, the centre one uh, extinguished, okay? And you do that likewise for all the numbers, like if I was to do a three, then that's what I would do, okay? So, let's get started. What do we do? The first thing we want to do is write down the side here, we want to write down some magic numbers. If you understand binary, it's going to be very clear to you what I'm doing. Um, everybody else who doesn't understand, that's fine. Uh, we'll just uh, call them magic. Alright, so the first number we have is a 1. Now we're going to double that and keep doing that um, until we get to 128. So we've got 1 here, double that as 2, double that as 4, double that as 8, then we've got 16, 32, 
64, and 128. Okay, so let's go back to our schematic diagram. Now if we have a look at the, um, at the shift fit register, and we'll try and understand what my code is doing. Okay, so first of all, we look at Q0. What my code does is it sends the number 1 to the shift fit register. The number 1 will illuminate Q0, or send a high signal down that uh, particular line, and only that line. Then what it will do, 4 seconds later, it'll send a number 2. The number 2 will send a high signal down Q1, and only Q1. A number 4 will send a high signal down Q2, and only Q2. So everything else will be 0, and Q2 will be a high signal or a 1. Okay, that one will shift along and keep shifting down until it gets to Q7. Then it'll reset and go back to Q0. Okay, so we'll go back to our drawing board and we have a look at our drawing board here. What we're going to do, I'm going to press the reset button on our, um, on our little uh, circuit here and we're going to start again. And we can see that the first number to extinguish on my particular setup is the one on the right there. So if we look at our board, this here was the first one to extinguish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this number 1 here and I'm going to cross it out and I'm going to put a 1 just next to the one that extinguished. Okay? And then we're going to do it again. I'm going to restart because uh, we've lost track of where we are. And there we go. So there, that was the number 1 and number 2 is going to be the top one there. Okay? So we go over here, we cross out the number 2 and we put a number 2 up there. Likewise, we keep going along and we keep following the um, the display, so we start again. So there's one, there's two, then we've got four, okay, so we write four on our board. Next is eight, so we write eight. Sixteen on my particular setup is the dot. And then we've got thirty-two, sixty-four, and 128, and then it should reset. Okay, so that was 32, 64, 128. So what's the significance of that? Okay, let's find out, shall we? Okay, so I've made a few changes to the board here. I've rubbed out our magic numbers, and what I've done is I've replaced them with 0 to 9 and max. So what, am I, what I'm doing here is I'm actually going to now uh, map out what it takes in order to make these shapes, I guess you could say, on the seven segment display. How do we do that? Well, let's have a look. As you remember, uh, when we sent the number one um, to the ship bit register, this, uh, this here extinguished. Okay? That makes a number six, as you can see. Um, when we sent an eight there, we got a zero, didn't we? Okay? So it's pretty simple. That that's all you have to do. You just send those magic numbers to the ship hit register, and the sequence that you've uh, that you've mapped out can actually you can start drawing um, you know shapes with your with your segment display. What happens though if we want to extinguish two at a time? If I want to do the number zero up here, then I would put send an eight there, but I also want to extinguish the dot. Okay, so I send the sixteen as well. So you add eight and sixteen together, and you get the number twenty-four. So if we send 24 to the shift bit register, that will extinguish both of those. Both of those pins will get a high, and therefore they will extinguish. If it's a, um, if you have a common cathode uh, seven segment display, it's the opposite way around. You um, instead of sending uh, 24 there, you leave 24 in there, and you send a 4 to 1, 32, 64, and 20, 128. You add all those together, and you leave the 8 and the 16. Okay. So let's have a look how to make a number 1. The number 1, we want to leave 32 and 1 there, so we add up 8, 2, 4, 1, 28, 64, and 16. And that should give us, if I add that up on my calculator, a 222. Okay? And then 32 and 1 will be the only ones uh, left illuminated. And obviously, if it's a common cathode, you switch it around, you send a 33 there, so 32 and 1 together and you get yourself a 1. If I was going to make a 2, uh, this is the, the shape of a 2, I, uh, I add up um, 4 and 32, which equals 36, plus 16, and that's 52. Okay, so I send a 52 there for the number 2. And you just keep going through it that way. And there we have it. There's our, um, there's our map. 
uh, we've created, if we want to print out a 24, I mean, sorry, a 0, we sent 24 to our shipment register. Likewise, if we want to print out a 9, we sent 144, and that will extinguish uh, the 128 and the 16. If we want to have a max value, which illuminates, which is a 9, with an illuminated dot, we just extinguish 128. Simple as that. Opposite for a common cathode. Sim very, very easy stuff. So what do we do with that? Okay, down below you can see a link for shift out analog display. This is just a simple bit of code, which is what we saw at the beginning, where we turn the potentiometer and uh, we get those mapped out values to actually represent our um, our, our numbers uh, in sequence. So, if we look at the, our code, we'll go down a little bit and you can see byte 0, byte 1, byte 2, byte 3, byte 4, byte 5, up to byte max. I haven't put any values in there, there I've left that open for you to put in. If you manage to jag it and um, hook up your 74HC uh, 5.5 um, sorry, uh, ship it register exactly the same way I have, then you'll have the same numbers as I have, uh, 24, 22, 53, uh, 52, 148, so forth. Obviously, uh, that's probably not going to happen, and uh, you've uh, you've mapped it out your own your own way. You may even want to uh, put in uh, hex symbols and, and, and whatever. So, yeah, have some fun with that. And I've, I've set it up in such a way that you can actually use this code uh, for, for something, uh, rather than just like a counter, like up that counts up and down. So, yeah, have a bit of fun with that. Do what you like with it and um, yeah that's pretty much it so thanks for watching guys if uh, you have any comments please leave them below anything else you would like uh, like help with I'm glad I'm glad to look into it so yeah leave it leave it in the comments below and um, yeah thanks for watching and thanks to Tom Cusack for the very quirky music you can hear in the background cheers